now preparing for Alabama, but before you talk about them, how did you feel you guys did uh, coming out of camp? Your we did a great years? camp. Yeah. You know, we came in, competed, uh, did a good job coming to practice every day prepared. You know, and that starts with in the meeting rooms, studying film at night, going back over their playbooks and notes. And, uh, you know, we've got a really exciting room. We've got a lot of depth in the room, and uh, they really did a good job coming out every day, working hard with the right approach. A lot's been said, obviously, about the, the freshman last year, Dorian, and how well he did. What's he need to do, excuse me, to go to that next step? Dorian's done a really good job. You yeah. know, he's, de he's developing into more of a leader, and he's really taken ownership in the entire defense. Um, you know, last year he was a little bit more concerned about getting himself lined up and focused more in on his own alignment assignment. Now he's taking, trying to take control of the whole defense. And in Coach Van Gorder's system, the Mike Backer has to make a lot of calls. And, uh, you know, he's stepping up and doing that for us. About these two guys, how important are they for you? They're extremely important. Yeah. You know, again, like I said, we're about the depth in the room. That's that's the best part about it. You know, we feel like we can play multiple guys in multiple positions and still be productive. And that, that's when you've really got something in a group when you're not worried about the next guy in because he's just as good and just as prepared and ready to go. What's the biggest, for Dorian, what's the biggest challenge in going from, like you said, a, a, a new guy who's who can focus mainly on getting himself lined up to more of a veteran who has to focus on everything. Right, there's some pressure that comes with that. You know, you got to have broad shoulders as the guy. You know, when you're the man and you're the guy in the middle as the Mike Backer, you have to understand that there's there's a little bit of pressure there that, hey, i got to make the appropriate close call. Or if they're in a certain formation, I have to check us out of it. But again, he's come in and he's been prepared. And that's the most important part. If you're prepared and you know your assignment, you, you can play more free. Does he enjoy that role, do you think? Have you, how have you seen him take to it? He does. He, he's grown as a person on and off the field. He's, uh, you know, he communicates way better. He understands that guys are dependent on him. You know? Again, like we talked about last year, it was just more focused solely on him. Now he understands he's got to get 10 other guys lined up, and it starts right there with him. Was oh. he more of a, a number, uh, a second in command of that role? Stacy last year, is that fair to say? I would say that's fair solely because of Stacy was a veteran. He, he had played a, a lot of ball. Right. He did a, he did a great job for us. But uh, Doran's done a great job stepping up and taking that to that leadership role. Robert and Yasir, what kind of competition have they been providing and they pushing for playing time? It's been good. You yeah. know, like I said, everybody's pushing for playing time. We've got a great rotation. Um, Yasir is extremely athletic and explosive. Robert, when you see him, obviously you can tell he, he's a big guy that has a bunch of power and ge generates some serious contact when he comes into people. Is Robert only working at middle linebacker or can he play outside too? He can play various places. Um, you know, he'll play Mike. He can rush off the edge in some of our packages. We're going to do a lot of things with Robert throughout his career. And right now he's learning on, you know, focusing on learning the scheme and understanding exactly what his roles are in those positions. I know he's typically a, a been a middle linebacker in the past in high school and stuff, but with Dorian <laughs> pulling down that spot for at least the next couple of years, do you kind of, with a player that, as talented as Robert, do you kind of have to find ways to get him on the field while he's... Sure, that goes for anybody. You know, you want your most athletic players to be on the field because, you know, you create packages, you, you develop schemes to where if you've got a guy that has a sp specific skill set, you want to utilize that skill set and make him productive on Saturday. How do you feel your guys did in the scrimmage on Saturday? They grayed out well? Or? They did. They yeah. grayed out well. Um, they played hard. They played fast. Um, we still got a lot to clean up. You know, there, there's certain things, like we talked about when we just broke from the field, it's, you know, we're through the grind of camp. Now it's time to start fine tuning on the, on the details of your alignment and assignment and get better at those things. When you look at, sorry, when you, when you look at guys who have played multiple positions, mm -hmm. if you look at moving a defensive lineman to a linebacker, a safety or something to line, up to linebacker, what, when they play, when they work at linebacker, what, what are the most important things that they do when they adjust to that position? Really, you just look for the skill set that fits the position. Um, you know, a guy that comes in from high school, maybe he's a good pass <laughs> rusher, maybe he's a good run defender, and, you know, Everyone on the football field has their various roles, and you just try to find the best role for him and make sure that he's in a place that he can be most productive. All right, Coach. That's right.